Welcome back to episode 2 on the moon and um, yeah we left off the previous episode with uh, doing this guy and there are some good news and some bad news. The good news is that the art furnace down there releases uh, a good amount of gases. Hydration critical. So we are probably gonna see a real furnace and a steel sooner than I first thought. Uh, the bad news is that I can't really run the AC much because it's primarily pollutants. So if I run it now, I will just fill my base up with the pollutants. So we need to put down a filtration unit somewhere. And uh, yeah, I guess that's the first task. Uh, let's see. We can just start an atmospherics kit and it needs copper. So we start that guy and we can start to prepare for having to place an um, atmospherics up there. Like before we need a frame to place it on, it's kind of annoying but uh, you get used to it. Uh, let's see, there in the corner is probably fine. Uh, pro ideally I would have it right there uh, on the AC output, but um, there is logic in the way and I can't press, place a frame there because of the wall, so it'll have to do. Uh, do we have any passive vents? I don't think we do. Uh, nope, we have 12 pipes. Let's see. Uh, we will need a passive vent. Uh, two probably. Let's see, one and two. And uh, filter pollutants. That should get us going. How are we doing on cable? 19 cable. We can also start some cable. That can work well. We place the rest here. So we need the filtration unit. Let's see. And I'll probably just place it right there. And um, let's see. We're just gonna do it real simple for the time being. Something like that and... Something like that and then have a passive event going there and outside. I'm just throwing out the pollutant at the moment. Uh, we get so much from smelting ingots that I'm not too worried. I think you just used all your cover, so we can take down the frame and connect this to power. Power low. And we have cable over here, so just connect that up uh, here there we go and now we should be able to turn you on and see the pollutant disappear that's really slow but it'll have to do uh, we will also tweak this a bit before I start it up again. Let's see. I'll take out that one and that pipe. And I'll take it over this way instead. I'll extend the pipe here and we'll put on a valve right there just keep it open that's 
Uh, the reason I did this change now is because now it's a one pipe segment when I had a one pipe and a passive event then it's counted as a two pipe segment so this should release less gas into the room so I can turn you on now and hopefully cool down the base fairly quickly while this guy is cleaning it So uh, yeah, um, at least now we won't kill off the plants and stuff. How's this doing? It's increasing X very fast though. Um, yeah, probably have to be a bit careful with running the AC for a while and let this guy just clean, uh, clean out the atmosphere first. Uh, but yeah, while that's working, I'll uh, look into upgrading the hydroponics here. I have uh, mined up a lot of uh, iron so that we can expand this to three full frames, hopefully. And start some real plant growth. We need both ferns for oxygen and plants for coal. Uh, even though our uh, furnace and steel isn't quite here yet, we are going to need a lot of it once we first start producing. So, yeah, I'll um, cut you off here and um, start working. So, something like this, I guess. Uh, should last us a while. Um, I'm hoping it will be just enough for the base total this thing here, but it will at least last us a long while. And uh, I have managed to fill it all out with some plants. Uh, I have set up a tank connector for the liquid tank. Uh, I took this guy off because it's only 60 kpa in there. It's really nothing. Um, and I have managed to wrangle this guy inside, so I was hoping we could get him upstairs. We probably need to just open up to get him up. Um, I'm gonna guess that's not even enough, so we need to open that up as well, I guess. Let's try this. Let's take this one out as well, just to be sorta of safe. If you haven't uh, been messing with a liquid uh, tank before, it's uh, it's um, usually very mad at you as soon as you try to pick it up. Can I even? Oh no! It wanted to behave now. When I took it off the lander, I had to fly like. Three, four hundred meters off in the distance to find it again. So if we drop it there and connect it, let's see. The connector isn't, uh, it's not connected to anything yet. Uh, let me get this back. Let's see, there and there. Uh, I have not connected it to anything. I have the parts on me. I just actually want to empty it out. Um, because the, the hydroponics itself has quite a bit of volume. Power low. So we could, uh, we could just empty the tank out into the hydroponics. It will hold all the water for us. Uh, and the tank takes up a lot of space, so let's see, if we start with this guy and make a connection point there and a connection point there, we can do a back pressure regulator, and this is quite temporarily 
Well, uh, just to empty out the canister. So we need some uh, power. Um, because it's temporary, I'm just gonna pull it straight through here. And our battery is empty, so that's still charging. I will survive until that's charged up. Let's see. And then connect you there. So if we set you to back pressure zero and on, it should just empty out the liquid tank. And then I thought we could um, just mount, once this is empty, we could uh, make a the water bottle filler and just mount it right here. So uh, let's see, the rice is done again, I see. Uh, let's try to pick some seeds. Power critical. Potato seeds, potato seeds. Now, the seeds can be recycled in the same way the plants can, so seeds is just as valuable, if not more, than the plants are. Because the seeds doesn't uh, decay. So the seeds you can sit on for forever and still use it for uh, biological, like, make... Um, make charcoal with them, I believe. At least you can use it in a composter. So I'm guessing you could use them in a recycler as well. It's all done. Tomato seeds. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Uh, the rice, let's see, corn. Potato seeds. And uh, yeah, I should uh, get me a battery. So I'm uh, really hoping I'm get to get um, steel soon, so that we can get a good battery at least. Um, yeah. We are definitely building up pressure in the base, it's now 43 kPa here. Last episode we noted 35 and uh, we haven't gained, well we have gained gases. And uh, the reason we are gaining gases is basically the plants. And the reason for this, I've shown this in other videos as well, but uh, the plants can output more oxygen than they absorb in CO2. Uh, they, they will do it when the CO2 levels are, are really low. So you can see the composition here is 0.02% it's, it's CO2. And when it's that low, they will, uh, they will um, generate more O2 than they take up as CO2. So we are actually gaining gas, gaining mass from the plants, as well as from the ingots, of course. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm not really sure where to go next. Um, I do think actually that uh, if I rip out this logic here and set up an, a better solution so that uh, perhaps the filtration unit is straight onto the, the AC output, we could run the AC a lot more. And, uh, and that would allow us to build up the temperature in the pipe faster and and hopefully get a furnace running very soon 
and uh, and get steel into it. That's what I'm hoping for. The life here have become so much easier once we get steel, simply because of the stationary battery. Waste tank critical. Apparently my waste tank is full. Why is that increasing so rapidly? I have my helmet open. I turn off the filtration units. But we can just... Uh, can I open? So yeah, it looks like my air tank is uh, getting low as well, so... We'll have to look at that uh, pretty soon, I think. Um, yeah. So perhaps hunger critical. Perhaps ripping out uh, these uh, logic stuff here and setting the filtration unit right straight onto here would help with that. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'll do that. So in order to get the filtration unit sitting here, I need to basically replace this wall. And there's a frame inside here. We can take out uh, and we need to find a wall we have one iron sheet we need one glass and one wall wall and glass so we can Let's see, find a window. It doesn't really have to be a window, but uh, it's nice to be able to see. And then the glass goes there. And that should hopefully let us uh, take off this side. And then place a frame right there. And then this can be moved. To sit right there, I guess. And then we take off this and this and this needs to go outside in some way so probably just like that uh, it's probably more temporary than the cable so we'll just stick it on the window I think not pretty to have stuff on the window but for temporary things it's okay there we go and then we can close you up take the pipe off let's see and then Connect you right there, put the filter back, let's see, connect the cable, we only need power for this guy, not gonna automate him, like so, I'll take down the old wire as well. And then uh, let's see wrench this guy we don't need and this guy we don't need and this guy we don't need. And then we somehow need the switch for the 
AC and the writer for the for the active end backup somewhere. Um, I might just place it on the ground down there. It's gonna be a lot of traffic there, but hopefully it's okay. Let's see. We have a. Uh, Let's do a logic writer and just place a logic, let's see, logic writer switch. And then connect these up. Take out the frame. Let's see, and then these are the exact same as before. Slot reader. Uh, is it not connected? Right. This guy needs to be connected to here. And then Active event on, and then this guy go. Uh, say, let's see, air conditioner and on. So hopefully, I can. Hydration critical. Turn it on now and this guy needs to be running. So we have filtered going straight out. So we are indeed wasting a bit, but um, we just have to do. Yeah, it's throwing up all the X right and the rest goes into the base problem is that most of this pipe is pollutant so we are not really getting a ton of cooling capacity here uh, preferably we should have saved this let's just test out if we just take this off how fast do you think the pressure is building up? Yeah, that's really slow. So we can probably just keep it for now. Uh, of course, it will eventually equalize with the inside, but that's just a good thing. It will cool down the base. Uh, we just have to make sure it doesn't blow up and fills the base with pollutant. So. It's, uh, I guess it's one of those things that um, I'll try not to forget and then forget, but um, we'll deal with it when the problem comes around. But yeah, at least we should be having a relatively clean atmosphere here now. And uh, I should probably eat something. But at least this seems to work, although probably a bit power hungry compared to what we are actually getting for it, but it's something. How's the water pressure up here? Uh, let's see. Can't see. We have to use the tablet. It's empty. Perfect. And the pressure in the pipes? 1.7 MPa. That's not bad. Um, yeah, probably missed tons of seeds here. Corn seeds. We'll pick up the corn seeds. Uh, 
This will create corn, potato, yeah. I'll uh, have to do some... I'll have to do a crop where I'm just sitting and watching the, the crops to get all the seeds. Um, I'm mostly concerned about the ferns now. I want a lot of ferns, but... Uh, yeah, it's base is cooling down at least. And how's this guy increasing slowly, 12 MPA, so we have a lot of gas there now. We need to get this up to 1000 Kelvin, so that would be approximately 700 Celsius. So this has to run for a while. And as soon as we have it at 700 uh, so, or 1000 Kelvin, we could probably s just hook up a furnace and we would have steel. Right, so uh, that didn't take long. Uh, it's currently Hydration at critical. 1100 Celsius. So we should be good to make steel now, hopefully. Um, it's 31 degrees in here, I kind of would like to keep it running, but uh, let's at least start to make the furnace. Let's see, uh, furnace needs copper. So in order to do this, we'll do it from the outside. Uh, we probably need some shoots as well shoots so we will have to open it up and then rip out the art furnace put in a proper furnace the proper furnace needs iron sheets as well don't they uh, do we have any iron sheets one And uh, we'll probably make do with 10 shoots there. Let's see. I It's just been a couple of in-game days since we last talked. Um, I've been growing some crops and um, been cleaning up here and there. Rearranged my um, airlock a bit. But, uh, yeah, let's see, 67, right? And I'm basically just been standing here thinking, um, I think water is going to be a problem faster than uh, I first thought. There's a lot of water here, but uh, my character drinks like there is no tomorrow, so... Um, we are going to get have to get uh, uh, get some water production hopefully very fast, and for that we need hydro hydrogen of course, and uh, composter needs uh, electronics printer tier two, as well as pretty much all the alloys, all the tier one alloys, so. Uh, let's see, iron sheets. So we're going to have to make Constantin and Electrum and um, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be kind of close I think, but um, I'm not panicking just yet. Everything is off here. We can probably turn off the yeah, the AC for a bit. Uh, we could probably also bring some pipes along. Nine pipes. I guess that'll do. Let's see. And then we pop out 
and we should be installing a real furnace and hopefully getting steel in um, in a very short time now so this should already be a vacuum it's probably a bit there yeah that's close enough um, and then we take out these Uh, the best benefit about being on the moon is that there is never a storm so uh, you don't really have to worry about um, things blowing away let's see and then we install the furnace Where would we install the furnace? We have an input there, an output there. I'm guessing like that. And then welder and iron sheets. No, wrench and iron sheets. No, there we go. And now the welder. Temperature nice. critical. Temperature high. Why would? Okay. Sure. Um. Right, and then that pipe has to end up oxygen there low. somewhere. Uh, I get oxygen low because I have turned off my filter. Uh, we can probably turn it on for a bit. Um, let's see. So I guess the activant isn't really necessary anymore. It's gonna stay a vacuum in here. And these cables aren't needed. And then we just pipe this down I think yeah I should have probably brought a valve I think I'll do this and then we do this three way and then I want a valve there the reason for the valve is because of the AC. If I add too many pipe segments to the AC, then, well, it will underperform. So uh, I'll quickly go in and get the valve. Uh, should be a valve here somewhere. There we go. Switch out the battery so that Power this can critical. charge. Oops. Ah, typical. There we go. That's what I meant to do. And then this just goes here. Now how does that look on the furnace? Yeah, we can make steel in this. We just need to get uh, uh, some input shoots and stuff. Let's see. How would I do this? I think I'll do... Um, just think ahead and do a junction. And... Uh, inlet there and then I'll have uh, that's a wrong junction but let's see junction there so at least I'll have the option to add to it here and be able to uh, input stuff from the outside 
uh, if I do uh, shoot there and an inlet there as well I have the option to th toss things in from the outside but um, yeah let's see let's bring all of the stuff inside with us uh, actually let's uh, yeah hydration critical let's jump inside and add an outlet on the other side there so the arc furnace is probably done uh, and more shoots here as well so, so if we just do a uh, there and an outlet there like I said it's it's gonna be cramped in here but this is the best oops I could do so far. Um, Power low. So uh, I have been making some uh, regent mix. Can I split this? Yeah. Um, let's see. If I split one, 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 one. I take 50 of these and toss this in oxygen low right charcoal it really is a charcoal I need to sweet flip that wall because I can't see the panel there right yeah and then I had one of these do I have a window somewhere glass sheet yep yeah. And then oxygen critical. We can open the visor inside. Let's see. And now I can see this. Yeah. So this reads as 50 charcoal. No, it will produce 50 charcoal. I guess that's fine. There you go. And now I enter it again for it to. Yeah. Now it reads as carbon. And releases a bunch of gas or at least lowers the temperature but I think we're good on steel still we need 150 iron I don't want to take these because they are already in ingots um, or maybe it's that's not a bad idea actually seven now nah. we'll go and get a quick stack uh, or three stacks of iron. Um, yeah, I'll um, quickly go outside, mine up some um, some iron, so that we can officially make steel. That's enough iron acquired. So if we jump inside. We cancel pressurization again and turn it off. We have 50 carbon in there, so going in three of these should do it. And it looks like the temperature will drop below 1000 Kelvin. Yeah, it will. Power low. So it's down to 872, we'll have to... Oh. Hit the button and start the AC a bit. Hopefully 
we'll get the temperature up there. Let's see. It says a thousand, yeah, so. See, that's the thing, because eventually the temperature here will increase when the pressure in the pipe exceeds the pressure in the furnace. Um, but not until then. So actually we should have made a better setup back here to circulate it, but... Um, Not sure if I'm gonna bother. It will eventually get there. Hunger caution. Let's drink some water. I'm trying to cons conserve uh, water, just to make it last as long as possible. But um, the breathing there may annoy me. So yeah, eight. 272 Kelvin, but we clearly have more than that in the pipe. Here we have 1200 degrees Celsius, which is a lot more. It should be 1500 Kelvin. Um, what could we do? Uh, let's see. Let's do a um, volume pump. Needs a bit of gold. 16 gold. There we go. And. So four pipe segments uh, might not be enough, but uh, let's see. Let's get the tool belt on. Hmm. So this is output. That's input. Right. So output there. Let's see. I should have probably placed the furnace a bit to the side, but too late now, I guess. Um, Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not sure how to solve this. What I need to do is to simply take out the contents of, of the furnace and then mix it with the gases there. You see, the, the furnace contents and the pipe contents doesn't mix before the pipe is uh, higher pressure. Then it will start to... Uh, start to bleed into the furnace so I need some way to uh, basically circulate it so I, I just have to make it happen I guess um, let's see so we do a volume pump there because that's the output and then this goes 
Open around. Still need that valve somewhere. Um, I was, I'll just need more. Oh, I have pipes on me. Never mind. So we have four more pipes. Let's see what we if we can make oxygen that. low. Um, can I get this? Or is it better to go the other way? I think it's better to go the other way, actually. Um, Oxygen critical. And then this there. And somehow, let's see. Because we can place, but we can place pipes there. We can place pipes here and there. So we can do that, and that, and do. The valve there. Hydration critical. And then we need one, two, three, four more pipes. That's Power critical. Charge that battery. So let's see. Pipes are quick. Pipe. It only needs 900. Well, okay. Sure. I guess we have steel. 200 steel. But uh, let's get that rolling anyway. Let's see. Does Do we have enough for a battery? Gold and copper. We got that laying around somewhere. But before we forget, we'll uh, finish off the furnace. Let's see, so we need uh, this to go. This looks so bad, but... Um, then open that. So now I should be able to just turn on the... Turn on the volume pump and that should force it to circle uh, circleize the air in the furnace uh, at least so just need to hook that up and we can remote control it oh, of course i can't connect it there no no that would have been too simple um, so yeah, well, it's already so janky, so... Why not even jankier? Let's see... Need to point it that way. It's not even gonna be visible, but... Yeah. It's good enough. And then there. And then we can... Do the rest from the inside. Right. So mega janky setup, but for now it's good enough. It'll make us most allies. Power low. So, um, yeah, how's the temperature in here? How are you doing a pressure? Um,
Let's see, let's see. Yeah, uh, I guess we just make a battery. We have copper and gold here. So we make a battery. Two hundred steel should last us a while as well, uh, and the furnace is nine hundred Kelvin, so it's not that cold. We could make a lectrum as well, and if we cool it down even more, then I guess that's just good. Um, wish I could place it there, but that doesn't seem to let me. But. Um, I want it let me place there. That's so annoying. I hate the, these restrictions on the, on the like stuff like you have to have it on the frame or like why why is why isn't this good enough? Why why can't I place it there? So I have to like have it floating above here. Um Yeah, it, it'll have to go there. Uh, it'll it'll do for now. Um, it's night time anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna get it charged. But we have steel at least. Um, I'll think I'll try to tinker with this a bit and see if I can get. Um, get it to the, the place the way I want it to. I probably have to rip out the, the airlock for that. Because I can't place a frame in here with the doors. Uh, well, <clears throat> we got steel at least. Um, the logic here isn't really necessary anymore. Although I will need one of these for the active vent, no, the, the volume pump. Let's see, where's the cable going now? So, volume pump and On. So if I turn this on, then it'll start emptying the furnace at least, and it should have been refilled with some other gases, but it's really low pressure in there. Yeah, yeah no, but this is working. Um, I'll tinker around with the battery and see what I can get it's working, and um, I'll see you back. I decided to just put it on the top floor. It'll do. It'll have to do for now. And um, I really don't know the how all the layout is going to be. All I know is that uh, this spot here is probably gonna be for the composter because we can just connect. Uh, open the connection up through down here and hydration critical it'll be like a column of things that needs uh, somewhat of a vacuum um, or at least that we can hold as a vacuum um, but yeah I don't really know <clears throat> well where anything else goes in this space yet so I guess the battery stays there for now. And um, yeah, uh, I placed a table here and the microwave, although I still have quite a bit of um, canned food, so food is not the biggest rush. But uh, at least now we can save all our power in. Um, in a stationary battery. Power low. So this will absolutely help our power situation. We could even add the 
a few more solar panels, maybe one there and one there, just to complete the the loop there. But uh, yeah, and I guess we made some steel, so I'm going to make the thing I really wanted to make earlier, and that's a radiator. Let's see, and a uh, manual valve. We need art for that. And now we can actually have some free cooling. Uh, let's see, we had some passive events, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. One is enough. This two will do. Um, then we'll just find a side, probably on this side. Okay, yeah. So if we stick this here. Uh, Yep, yeah. and then our radiator there, and then it should be, pipe should be there, yeah, and the manual valve will be very hidden behind here, but it's fine, and again I need something to attach it to. Um, So I can't just attach the passive vent on the wall. I need something on that face to attach it to, but I can simply remove these after, that's fine. So behind this star gaffer is just a passive vent to a manual valve. And we open that and that fills uh, this pipe segment. And it has a radiator on the outside. We could make a couple more. Let's do two more. And that will cool our base down for free. At least for no power, I guess. Yeah, two is probably enough. I'll just leave this there and. We connect this and this. Could we do one more? I think we can do one more. There you go. And there. And now the base should be cooling without us using power on it. So yeah, and uh, I guess that is a nice place to end the episode. We managed to get a stationary battery, we managed to get steel, we have a fully functioning furnace. So the next would be to continue making the alloys and basically set up an, um, a composter so that we can start to make some uh, hydrogen and possibly some water. But anyway, I think that's uh, it for this episode. Uh, I hope to see you again in the next one and um, thanks for watching.